Good morning! I thought we'd do a little get ready with me this morning because I have some thoughts and it centers around using the term anti-aging and some comments that a very outspoken cousin of mine had made and it just made me want to say things. So I thought we'd do that here this morning while I get ready. Uh, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm so glad that you stopped by with the rest of us today, putting on my primer, which is L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base, by the way. And um, if you like what you see today, or you just really want to get into things, makeup and skincare and lifestyle related for those of us over 60, over 50, I really hope that you will consider subscribing by the end of the video and give the video a like, thumbs up, and feel free to share it with anybody who you think might enjoy this kind of content too. Also, if you'd like to follow me on my other social media, I would really love to have you there too. So, now that we've got all that stuff out of the way, let's get into my thoughts. I have a cousin and uh, she's older than I am. My family has lots of generations because, in fact, my oldest cousin on my dad's side is old enough almost to be my grandfather. That is how spread out the generations are in my family. And this cousin is older than I am, but we've always been friends. She is incredibly outspoken, always has been, Yay, I love that about her. However, she has a real booger bear problem. I'm trying to find my um, foundation. Anyway, she has a real booger bear problem about women wearing makeup when they get older. She just thinks that women should just really dial it back and not wear a lot of makeup as they get older. In fact, she said um, she puts on her eyeshadow the way she always did when she was younger and then wipes half of it off because she thinks that women who wear makeup or wear a larger amount of makeup are trying too hard. I don't know what we're trying too hard to do, but then she will also sometimes clarify that as trying to look young. And here's the thing. I ain't trying to look young. I'm 61. I am perfectly happy with looking 61. However, I do want people to know that 61 does not look like Granny Clampant after saving the crops from locusts all year long and running around and hoeing beans and cotton without a hat on. I mean, we don't have to look like ancient artifacts just because we hit a certain age. And my foundation, by the way, is El Maquillage. Uh, woke up like this. I'm using shade 020. I'm not trying to look younger. I am just trying to look like me the way that I want to look. And I think a lot of people don't realize that when women put on makeup, nine times out of ten, we're not doing it for anybody else. Now, I realize that's kind of a weird thing to say since I make beauty content on the internet, but when I put on my makeup, I'm doing it for me. I really don't care what anybody else's perception is of the way that I look. I just know the way that I want to look. And so that's how I put my makeup on every day. Is that the same for you? I mean, when you put your makeup on, do you have this, this thought about how are other people going to see me with my makeup on? Because I know I did at a certain time in my life. I'm When I was younger, especially like when I was in school, you know, I wanted, you know, people to think that I looked good. Now, I guess, I don't know how I reached the stage of, I don't give a really flying, <laughs> but I really don't care what other people think about the way that I look with my makeup on or off, for that matter. If people do like it, yeah, that's very pleasing. And yes, I look at other people and I think, oh, their makeup looks really nice today. And I think it's okay to wonder what people are going to think about the way your face looks or the what clothes you're wearing or whatever. I think it's normal for us to wonder what other people's perception of the way we look is going to be. However, I do think it's dangerous from, I don't know, say a mental health standpoint to base our makeup or our clothes or our hair solely around what 
we think other people might think about it. And what gets me about my cousin's, you know, attitude about, oh, this person is trying too hard to look young or whatever. And she's the one who applies her makeup in a way that she thinks other people will find acceptable. When I apply my makeup the way Julie wants it to look that day. To me, her whole attitude about makeup is accusing other people of what she herself is doing. And no, she apparently is not trying to look young, but she's trying to look the way that she thinks other people think that a woman her age should look. I'm not doing that. She is. But she calls me out. And not just me. Anybody my age or older or even younger than me that wears more than powder and a swipe of eyeshadow apparently were wrong. No. I don't get it. Because I have found out that, you know, people that wear more than just that basic amount are the ones who really don't care when they get to be our age. We don't care what other people might think. Of course, we're going to be interested in what they think. But if they don't like it, I mean, we're the ones that are going to say, well, you know, whatever. I didn't put it on for you anyway. I put it on for me. And we're the ones who get called out for trying too hard. And that leads me into skincare. One thing I would really like is if skincare companies stopped using the phrase anti-aging. I'm going to use this Milani Conceal and Perfect Liquid Contour. Ooh, may have gotten too much. This is not contour to me. It is too warm to be contour. I use it as a bronzer. I'm not going to wear any contour today. I'm just going to contour with bronzer, which I don't like to do, but doing it today. I'm going to use my regular contour brush for it though. Anti-aging is, I think, a term that needs to be sent to the dustbin of history. Golly, this stuff is pigmented. Because when I use products on my skin to make it healthier, I'm not trying to anti-age. I'm trying to keep my skin healthy. Healthy skin looks better. So therefore, I guess that society thinks that it looks younger because it looks more healthy. Which in turn leads me to the fact that are old people supposed to be unhealthy? We're not allowed to look healthy? If we look healthy, does that mean that we're trying too hard? Our body's largest organ is our skin. But when we take care of it and try to maintain our skin's health, we're accused of trying to anti-age. If we eat a healthy diet for, say, our heart or our liver to not get, you know, fatty liver, or take care of our sugar intake so our pancreas won't get screwed up. Is that trying too hard? Is that trying to look younger? Because those are just organs in our body, like our skin. But nobody has a problem with keeping those healthy. When you try to keep your skin healthy, you're trying to look like something you're not, only because the skin is the only organ that people can see. And I think the whole term of anti-aging really plays into that. Anti-aging, that whole term, that terminology, that phraseology, makes it seem like we're trying to stop aging. When really what we're doing is we are keeping our skin healthy. And it's really funny that when people take a spin class or get on the treadmill for their heart health, they're not accused of trying too hard or trying to look younger. Y'all, I decided to kick it old school today and go with the Cody Airspun for my setting powder. Ooh, the scent. But, you know, this is such a good setting powder as long as you don't put it on too heavy. And I do want to set because I do get oily breakthroughs sometimes, even though my skin is dry. I take good enough care of my skin to where I do get some shine by the end of the day if I am I'm getting all the excess off my sponge. If I don't set, I am going to have some shiny breakthrough. Plus, I'm going to be using a powder blush. So I'm going to put some powder here so the powder doesn't cling to any spots that aren't mattified, I guess. Now, I know that there are some skincare companies who do follow my social media and my online presence because they reach out to me. If any of those skincare companies are kicking around here today, 
I'd kind of like to offer a challenge. Y'all, I forgot to do my eyebrows. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put this hide the hood shade on, then I'll go back and do those. But I would like to submit a challenge to skincare companies to stop using the phraseology anti-aging. If you have to put that in there, call it anti-premature aging. But I would really like to see the term skin health being used instead of anti-aging. Because at the end of the day, that's what it is. We're trying to take care of our skin's health. And healthy skin looks younger. Or our perceived notions of youth. Now, our ancestors did not have access to the things to which we have access now. As far as you know, things like peptides or hyaluronic acid. They definitely did not have tretinoin retin-A or any kind of retinols to use on their skin. Had they had it, they definitely probably would have used it. Now my great-grandparents, great-great-grandparents, all the way up to my parents farmed for a living. They did not have access to sunscreen, but because they didn't have access to sunscreen, their skin got damaged. It caused discoloration, it caused lines and wrinkles, um, luckily, I don't know of any of my ancestors who had uh, skin cancer, thank God. <laughs> but it did make their skin discolored, lined, wrinkled, and that became the way that their age was supposed to look. Sorry, my camera overheated and I finished my eye makeup with that palette. Anyway, <laughs> so we're supposed to base our notion of aging, what a woman is supposed to look like at a certain age, on the skin condition of people who had no access to sunscreen, whose skin barrier was destroyed, who had no access to peptides and hyaluronic acid and moisturizers. So that has now become, this is what that age looks like. And any attempt to not look like that is now going to be counted as anti-aging. No, I don't accept that. I mean, I'm proud of my ancestors and I am proud of how hard they worked and what they did to make a better life. But when my grandmother, both of them, were 41, 42 years old, they looked haggard and worn out and just completely ancient. And by these standards of aging that we're supposed to accept and go by now, I look younger at 61 than either one of them did at 41. And yeah, a lot of it is an easier life. I will freely admit that. I have never chopped cotton. I have never hoed beans. But just because I didn't live the life that they lived, and just because I live in a time where we have access to better skin care, I don't think that I should be defined by my age of the way that their skin looked. I don't think that that should be the standard for this is what a woman of X age is supposed to look like because that's what they looked like in the 30s and the 40s and even the 1950s. So I want skincare companies to stop with the anti-aging. We're still aging. I also never want to hear the term aging gracefully again. Um, I feel that I'm aging gracefully. Aging gracefully has kind of come to mean people who don't take care of their skin's health, just letting whatever happens, happens. Like that is virtuous. To not take care of the health of your skin is supposed to be graceful. Who came up with that? If a person wasn't taking care of any of their other health, their bone density health, their heart health, their lung health, any other health of any other organ in their body, they weren't taking care of it, they would not be said to be aging gracefully. They would be called irresponsible, unhealthy, but we take care of our skin and we're not aging gracefully. So drop the aging gracefully. That's not to be a thing anymore. <laughs> okay, I declare it here today on this channel that aging gracefully is out. We are aging responsibly. I like that. Aging responsibly. Oh, yeah, we're going to use that from now on. And anti-aging will stop being a thing. I also declare that. That doesn't need to be a thing anymore. It should be called skin health. 
not anti-aging. Instead of saying this is a beautiful new anti-aging product, we're going to say from now on that this is a beautiful new skin health product to keep your skin healthy. Because honestly, I can't think of any other avenue in our lives where we are told that the standard of living in 1932 is the one that we should still be living by now. It, it, we don't do that. We use technology. Nobody would ever say, oh, well, you know, they didn't use telephones widely in 1932, so we can't use telephones now. The internet, and somebody is suggesting that we just give up our internet and go back to, I don't know, let's go back to the cave days and let's do smoke signals, why don't we? How all the mail delivered by Pony Express? I don't see anybody suggesting that, do you? But when it comes to the way we look, we're supposed to embrace the standards of women, of people who had no skin care beyond sweet almond oil to put on their face at night. That is completely and utterly ridiculous. <laughs> and sorry for my rambling tangent today, but it just, I don't know, it just really irritates me that we're not supposed to have a healthy appearance anymore, or we're trying too hard, or we're trying to look younger than we are. I'm not trying to look younger than I am. I'm 61. This is the way I look. Anyway, this is the way 61 looks. Sorry I went on kind of an unhinged rant today. <laughs> Anyway, um, stick around with me uh, this week. I've got my February faves and veils coming up for you, and we're going to be talking about foundations for those of us who are aging healthily. <laughs> and I just realized I've had my reading glasses on top of my head this whole time. <laughs> Y'all should have said something. Anyway, if you enjoy the video, I really hope that you'll give it a thumbs up. And if you like what you saw and want to see the rest of it, make sure you subscribe and ring the notification bell too. Perhaps YouTube will give you a notification that I've uploaded another video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and listening to me go on. And uh, give me your thoughts about anti-aging in the comments. We'll talk to you next time. Bye.